Hey guys, Tamara here with Yogi Gardens, and today I wanted to talk to you all for a few minutes about kale and all about the nasty pests that absolutely love these plants as well as other cruciferous vegetables. So kale is a cool weather crop. It is very, very cold tolerant and actually gets sweeter in colder weather. Most people will harvest their kale when temperatures start to get hotter in the summer, but what I like to do is to just keep picking it for my smoothies or whatever it is that I might be using my kale for. And I, I just come out here and and pick the leaves off and use it throughout the entire summer. And I've even had some plants that lasted all throughout the winter. If we have kind of a mild winter, I'm harvesting kale all up until the next spring. So you really don't have to pull these guys up, at least not in my area um, and not in my experience. So if you're harvesting kale, all you have to do is pull off the leaves. You can come down to about where the leaf starts. You don't want to, you know, pull too much off and disturb it too much, but you can just pull it off at the stem like that and pick off whatever you like. I, I think the baby kale tastes really good, but you can also obviously grab some of these bigger leaves. And I just come out here in the morning time and pick a few leaves off each plant, put it in my smoothies or stir fry it up with some eggs maybe, maybe make a quiche with it. And I do this all throughout the summer. Some people will say that, you know, it, it gets a little bit of a different flavor throughout the summer. I haven't really noticed much of that, or maybe it's just that I still like the flavor any, anyway, regardless. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what pest that these guys can get. Now, there's so many that absolutely love kale um, or anything in the brassica family. Bugs just completely attack them. And honestly, I've given up so many times when trying to grow cruciferous vegetables because honestly, I just struggle with bugs. And, and sometimes it just it seems like a losing battle. So one bug in particular that I have problems with is the cabbage worm. Now you may see some really beautiful white butterflies uh, flying around your garden. I used to admire them out of my kitchen window. I thought they were so pretty and uh, those are some little nasty critters. I tell you what, they will leave hundreds of eggs all over your plants. Next thing you know, you're going to have hundreds of eggs which turn into little bitty worms that grow into caterpillars and just completely eat the crap out of all your vegetables and you will be pissed because every year I am pissed. There are a couple different things that you can do to control these bugs. Now there, like I said, there are other bugs that, that do attack these such as aphids or cabbage loopers, but the cabbage worm is probably the worst one that I've had to deal with. And the methods that I'm gonna share with you today will actually keep all of those bugs away. So you won't have to worry about any of them at all. Okay, so let's talk about the first thing you can do. Um, all of your cabbage worms are not gonna like thyme, mint, marigolds. So a lot of your herbs, they are gonna absolutely hate and it will keep them away, but they don't always keep them away. Um, I have done companion planting before with these and still somehow, I still end up with some and one can turn into hundreds. So I still plant some of these around um, my cabbage plants or kale or collards just to have like that extra protection. Hi kitty. Um, and also one other thing you can do is use neem oil. And in the past I have found this pretty effective. The only problem with it is that every time it rains, it washes all of the neem oil away and then you have to spray it all over again. So it can kind of be a pain in the butt. Um, but if you want to use neem oil, you can get a concentrate like this and then follow the directions and put it in a spray bottle. Now when you, I'm not gonna spray these today because I don't have, luckily I don't have any cabbage worms growing on here. But if you did have some cabbage worms, you'd wanna spray the entire leaf on the front and especially on the back where all the, the eggs usually are. So you wanna spray the front, the back, and then you even wanna spray down in here because a lot of the eggs will get all the way down in these little crevices. Um, so you wanna spray the entire plant really, really well with neem oil. This is a great way to control cabbage worms. However, um, like I said, once it starts raining, 
it's just going to wash it off or even if you're watering and you're watering over top and you're not watering um, just at the base it's going to wash all the neem oil off so you're going to have to reapply that neem oil so now what i use is an insect netting um, or insect cloth they have they look like this they have little holes in here um, and this completely keeps those little pretty butterflies or <laughs> that aren't really pretty little butterflies they're little nasty critters it keeps them from from getting through here they can't get through here so it'll completely keep all of your cruciferous vegetables or anything in the brassica family totally 100 percent safe so it's super easy to put on um, all that i did was i used four bamboo stakes and four clips i put the netting over the four bamboo stakes and then just simply clipped them to it so it's really that simple i hope this video helps and i hope you will not have to deal with all of the nasty little bugs that get on cruciferous vegetables or kale plants and if you all have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments below and thank you all so much for watching bye